Welcome to the mirror exercise video. The mirror exercise <clears throat> is the most powerful tool to heal separation and attract your twin flame in order to get into union and also to sustain union permanently. One of the primary purposes of the mirror exercise is to take back your power from anything that makes you unhappy and actually realize that nothing outside of yourself can ever make you happy. True happiness comes from within, and if you are not experiencing happiness, then there is something inside of you that is blocking the happiness that naturally resides within. Your twin flame cannot make you happy. Only your relationship with source can create happiness. But to get to this place, you must heal the blocks to your happiness and to your harmonious twin flame union. As I said before, the mirror exercise is the most powerful tool to heal your blocks to union and everything else that you desire, but that is not to say that there is anything wrong with other modalities of healing. For example, meditation, yoga, reiki, prayer, or any other spiritual practice are all very good complements but they are very slow in comparison to using the mirror exercise because it is designed to go to all the places you are most uncomfortable inside of yourself and heal them. The mirror exercise creates immediate and drastic change within. This inner transformation is what is required to be in union with your twin flame. The reason that meditation alone is not as effective is because it doesn't require you to go anywhere in your consciousness that you don't want to go or places that you're not even really aware of. But in order to have your twin flame, you need to heal these core wounds in your consciousness. Doing the mirror exercise may seem awkward at first, but just like anything else, it takes practice to master, but it will take you all the way to perfect union, full ascension with your twin flame. So the mirror exercise puts the focus on your feelings. And when you are triggered, it causes an emotional response within you. It is that emotion or feeling that is the block that needs to be healed or released. So choosing to feel your feelings and getting to know and understand how you're feeling on a moment-to-moment -moment basis is the best way to indicate whether or not you are experiencing an upset that needs to be healed. Being triggered doesn't always have to come from your twin flame. Anything and everything that you come across in life that upsets you is a catalyst for healing. So no one has the power over you to make you feel any way whatsoever. It really allow that statement to sink in. You are responsible for how you feel. You can heal any upset with the mirror exercise and take back your power. With your twin flame, there is a very different set of rules than any other relationship you have or have had. This is because your twin flame is your perfect mirror. You are literally one with them. You share a consciousness together. As you choose love and healing through doing the mirror exercise, they too experience that result in unity within. Just know that your true twin flame will always mirror the part of you that is out of alignment with loving yourself. This isn't at all to make you feel bad, it is to alert you of what needs healing. So do not take it personally, it's, it's an act of love at its core. But they may trigger you in a way that it may seem otherwise. It's only ever so that what needs to be healed is brought to your attention. Healing these blocks allow you to go deeper into deeper levels of love with yourself and attract your twin. When you ignore these triggers or emotions, 
It is another way of saying you don't want to go deeper into love with your twin or that you are avoiding loving yourself, which equates to avoiding loving them, which leads to more separation. So it's important not to blame them, but to have compassion because your twin is loving you in the best way that they can and in the way that you need to be to be loved by bringing up where you are out of alignment with loving yourself. Well, this love you are cultivating is the critical foundation necessary for your harmonious union because you are actively achieving divine unconditional love. And as you very much desire unconditional love and acceptance from your twin, they very much desire that same thing from you. But you must give it to yourself first. Regardless of what they are doing, you are going to love them unconditionally and trust that what they are experiencing is for their greatest benefit to healing their core wounds, even if it's not you know, what you want at the moment. That is unconditional love. So let's get started. The mirror exercise works like this. Your external experience is created within your internal consciousness. Your internal consciousness is a combination of your choices, thoughts, and feelings. That means a core choice that you have made either feels good or bad to you. So when you experience feeling bad about something, it is because in some way your higher self thinks and feels differently, and that choice is out of alignment with what you truly desire. That means that you have been operating from that choice out of alignment, and that core choice is running the show until you use the mirror exercise to identify it, can you now operate and make a new choice from a place of love and not from a place of separation? So when your twin or anyone or anything else triggers you, that is what is what we call an upset. It is because they are mirroring a thought or belief you have that is out of alignment with your higher self. Now these upsets show you the way back to alignment with source and union consciousness and not separation. So anything can be healed with the mirror exercise, even physical ailments or sickness. Now to start off, I highly recommend that you write out each upset so you can grab uh, pa some paper and a pen or a pencil or you can uh, write things out on, on your computer, uh, whatever is, or your phone, whichever is easiest for you. This will really help you go through it properly and correctly. You know, the goal here is to really get acquainted with learning and mastering this exercise. And when you feel comfortable enough, you know, you can move on to uh, different ways of, of doing the mirror exercise. But for now, Start out with writing everything out, write, write out the steps. So as you follow along, use your own personal story to complete the mirror exercise step by step. So let's just use a hypothetical example. Step one is to write down what you are upset about very clearly and concisely in about one sentence it, it doesn't really do you any good to write down a paragraph of all the things you are upset about uh, or, you know, how your twin is pissing you off. Just do one at a time. So let's just say your twin is dating someone as our hypothetical example. So instead of writing down, I'm upset with my, that my twin is, a, is dating someone, you want to start with the feeling. How does that make you feel, right? That you, you found out your twin was dating someone, it triggered you. What was the feeling? What is the, what is the upset there? So you may notice 
when you search your feelings, you realize that you're upset with your twin because it feels like they don't want to be with you. And when you identify the feeling first, you know, you, uh, you could be upset or sad or angry or depressed or lost or confused or whatever the feeling is, you know, however it's making you feel. You identify uh, what the core, what the core of that upset is. So step one is identifying what it is you are actually upset about and write that down. So using this example, it would be, you know, I'm feeling angry with my twin flame because they do not want to be with me. Just take a moment to notice here, there was something that triggered you, you know, noticing that they're dating someone, which when you felt your feelings about it, led to what you're really upset about. And this piece is important to get clear in identifying the deeper upset that you so that you can get to the root of it. If this is how you feel, that's okay. Acknowledge that you feel this way. It's okay to feel your feelings. So step two is to take that first sentence <clears throat> and point it to yourself. Turn all the nouns to pronouns. So you would write down in step two, I'm feeling angry with myself because I do not want to be with me. As we discussed earlier, your twin and life itself is mirroring each way you are out of alignment to loving yourself. So if you are upset about anything, that is stemming from a choice being made within you that is out of alignment with your highest self and it's coming to the surface to be healed. So step three is to ask yourself if there's any truth to that statement. The answer, this is a hint, the answer is always yes. Because if you are experiencing an upset in any way, if you feel upset in any way, then it's coming from within yourself. It's your feeling. This is the step where you take some time to contemplate how this might be true in your consciousness. Under what circumstances do you not want to be with yourself? So your answer might be, yes, this is, this is true. When I was younger, I didn't have a lot of friends and no one wanted to play with me. So I figured uh, there was something wrong with me or that I wasn't good enough to have friends and it made me very angry at myself and even angry at God for uh, not feeling loved by other people or whatever, right? So step four is the most is, is the most important step. And just to recap, you know you've identified the feeling, you've turned it on to yourself, you've located the part of yourself that feels upset. And now what you want to do is speak to that inner part of yourself that is causing the problem and love yourself there. And you can have uh, an imaginary dialogue with that part of you that is upset and <clears throat> ask it what it needs to feel loved right now. It could say anything like it needs love or it needs a hug or or it needs to be feel accepted or it needs to be held you know anything it could say anything that it needs for it to feel uh, loved and appreciate it and now all you have to do is give that part of yourself exactly what it is asking for wrap it up in a big hug give it all the love or acceptance or whatever you know it's asking for right now in this very moment and allow that part of you to melt into your heart when you feel a peace or you feel you no longer feel upset in that particular place you have healed this upset and you can move on to the next so it's very important to notice that you are using your feelings to determine what it is you're upset about and not your mind. 
thinking your way through healing and upset will lead to a lot of confusion and overthinking. The feeling is the block you are seeking to release. And in order to release a block, you have to, you have to love that part of yourself that feels upset. And love comes from your heart, not from your mind. So feeling your way through it and actually using your heart to love that part of yourself is what actually heals each piece of separation. So all you have to do is identify and love that part of yourself that feels upset. Remember to start out writing out the steps. This is to your benefit. It will help you procedurally get to a place where the steps become second nature. You are training yourself to master this exercise. Even when you do master it, it's still okay if you need to write things out from time to time or whatever you may need to do to work through an upset. It's okay. If you happen to be somewhere that you cannot work through the steps of the mirror exercise, you can write down a few notes in your phone or on a piece of paper real quick and take them up later when you have the time to do so. Some upsets may be very big and have many layers to them. So don't fret if, if very similar upsets keep coming up. It's okay. You are just healing all of the pieces to a core block one at a time. It would be way too overwhelming for you to handle the block in its entirety. So out of compassion, it comes up layer by layer. Each upset that you heal closes the gap on dissolving separation and brings you closer to union with your twin flame. So thank you for watching this video. It is a core foundational tool to, to heal separation. Uh, you may watch this, re-watch this video as many times as you need to, and you may find deeper understanding that will lead you to tailor and refine the exercise each time you watch it. As I've said before, the mirror exercise will take you to union and beyond. However, working with a coach who can help you identify core upsets and help you to heal them will rapidly accelerate your journey. Having someone who can lead you in the right direction of what steps to take and keep you on the correct path is an invaluable tool to attaining your true love. So thank you for watching this video and hopefully I will see you soon.